strategy. I'm saying that as a white person, you uphold a system of racism by literally just being white. Welcome to Surviving Woke Land with Ethan Quinn, a channel dedicated to exposing and explaining the ideology driving wokeness. In Ministry of Truth, I point out that repetition is one of the most powerful propaganda methods. If you say something enough, eventually, people will start believing it. This is precisely what has happened with the redefinition of racism. According to the left, racism is no longer the act of discriminating against someone based on the color of their skin. Now, racism is not an act, but a structure. That structure is Western society. So white people are not only racist, they are the structure of racism. The systems of whiteness make us dangerous. In the leftist mindset, racism can only be perpetrated by white people, not against them. Just by existing, a white person is racist because they have white privilege, but nothing said or done to white people is racism. All white people are racist. Every single last one of them, all of them are racist. And I don't mean that to say like every single individual white person, if I talk to you, you would have some kind of racist ideology. I'm saying that as a white person, you uphold a system of racism by literally just being white. I believe if you're not spending your literal entire life dismantling racism, then you're contributing to its continuation. And people get so like, <gasps> whenever like I say like people are racist, like why is it such a big fucking deal? Like, yes, you're racist. Like, okay, we've established that. Now what are you gonna do to change it? Racism refers to power and race. If you are the powerful race in a society, then you're fucking racist. Like, I just don't understand why it's so taboo. It is a big deal because you are using a completely different and ideologically self-serving definition of racism. How can you even begin to have an honest conversation about racism when your starting point is to redefine what racism is and then label all white people as racist? All white people are racist. So <laughs> I put this up because I really want any white person in the room to know up front that this is what we're dealing with, that it's not gonna be this coddling of white tears and what that looks like. We're not gonna discuss, oh, maybe some of us have worked it out. No, you're always gonna be racist actually. So even when you're on your path to trying to figure out how to be a better human being, um, because I believe that white people are born into not being human, like that actually instead of people of color and black folks being dehumanized, that actually everyone is dehumanized off threat within white supremacy, that y'all are born into a life to not be human. And that's what y'all are taught to do, to be demons. So in this particular way, white people are all racist. So white people are not only racist, but they are also not even human. They are demons. That sounds like the perfect recipe for creating a harmonious society. I firmly believe all people are equal and have the same intrinsic value. That is why I fight wokeness because it is a Trojan horse pretending to be about inclusion when it has infiltrated society only to cause destruction. Wokeness is not about fighting racism. It is about dividing society into groups that will weaken social cohesion to the point where society fails. It's what the father of cultural Marxism, Antonio Gramsci called, counter-hegemony. In his book, How to Be an Anti-Racist, Ibrahim X. Kendi makes the magical leap of logic to claim that to be anti-racist, you must be anti-capitalistic. He does this by using the new definition of racism, where it is a system, not an act. Because in truth, it is not racism that wokeness is fighting, but the system of liberalism, the opposite of socialism. As defined by Oxford reference, liberalism is a political ideology centered upon the individual, thought of as possessing rights against the government, including rights of due process under the law, quality of respect, freedom of expression and action, and freedom from religious and ideological constraint. Liberalism is the system they have misleadingly labeled as white supremacy. Liberalism should not be confused with being a liberal, they are not the same things. In Ministry of Truth, I explain that the system you must fight to be a so-called anti-racist is not actual racism, but liberalism. This is the reason racism has been redefined as a structure, not an act. It provides the perfect way for Marxists to attack Western society, the free market economy, and liberalism. They pretend that the only way to fight racism is to implement socialism. Wokeness is nothing more than Marxism in disguise. That is all I have for today. Please like and subscribe, and join me again tomorrow as we learn how to survive Wokeland together. Until then, this is Ethan Quinn saying, stay free.